Hi, everyone. Welcome into the Building Up Podcast. This is episode number 86. I'm David McConnell, the lead pastor at Agape Church in Pinson. Thank you guys for being with us this week. It was on my heart for today's episode of the podcast to share with those of you who are listening that God knows how to rescue you out of the trials that you're facing right now. That's almost a direct quotation from Second Peter chapter 2, verse 9. You know, this podcast that we've been doing now for 86 episodes, we started it really just about trying to help people grow spiritually, being built up in our faith. So we take this podcast and sometimes we answer questions that get sent into us. We uh, talk about topics around uh, the Christian faith and we look at verses and passages of the Bible. And our, our goal is to just equip and encourage those of you who are listening to, to keep going, grow in Christ, pursue him and be built up in your faith. And, and one of the things that, uh, that we face as believers are, are trials, right? Difficulties, uh, challenges to our faith. And, and often how we respond to those trials has a lot to do with how we spiritually grow. When we go through a trial, if we can respond to it rightly, we will learn from it. And we can grow in our faith and we can grow in our understanding of Christ in the midst of that difficulty. That's really what a trial is. In the New Testament, the word trial literally means a, a testing or a putting to proof. So trials challenge our faith often because they challenge us to ask, do I really believe the Bible in the midst of difficulty? Am I really going to follow Christ in the midst of challenging circumstances? Am I really going to look to God? Uh, maybe the trial that we're facing is a temptation to sin or a temptation to react to someone or to a situation in our own flesh. And so the trial becomes, am I going to be faithful to God even in the midst of this temptation? And how we respond to trials uh, directly impacts how we spiritually grow. If we pull away from God in the midst of a trial, if we run from him, flee from him, disobey him in the midst of a trial, then we actually hamper our spiritual growth. When Peter wrote this letter, the second one that he wrote to the church uh, in the New Testament, Second Peter, he was at the very end of his life. And he was writing to a group of people, of believers, who were facing many different difficulties and challenges. Some of those challenges were outside of the Christian community. So they were facing persecutions because of their faith. They were being ridiculed, some of them even beaten, put to death because of what they believed. And they were also having to live in a world trying to stay faithful to God, surrounded by sin and surrounded by people who... Uh, were living their life the way they wanted to. There was also challenges inside the Christian community. False teachers had entered the church, and they were leading many people astray to believe destructive things. And so the people that are receiving this letter from Peter, uh, many of them were probably worn down. Many of them may have been considering leaving the faith. They were discouraged. They were perhaps angry. They were sad. They were dealing with a wide range of emotions. And so Peter is writing to them. And, and in this letter, just like the first letter that he wrote uh, to the same group of people facing many of the same circumstances, Peter's encouraging them to grow in the midst of this. Keep going. Endure. Love God. Love one another. Fight for holiness to, to do what God's asking you to do to be kind to people, even your enemies. He gives them all of these different instructions that this is an opportunity for them to advance in their faith, mature in their faith, grow in their faith, even in the midst of the trial that they're facing. And it's in that context that he gives them this beautiful promise. The Lord knows how to rescue the godly from, child, from trials. 
And again, that's from Second Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knows how to deliver or to rescue the godly from trials. So, so Peter's encouraging them, don't turn back, hold on. You're going to grow and mature in the midst of this that you're facing. And, and here's the promise that I give you. Here's the foundation that you can set your feet on. God knows how to bring you out of this trial. God knows how to rescue you out of this. And, and not only does God know how to do that, but of course the implication is God is going to do that. He is absolutely going to deliver you out of whatever trial you're facing. Now, the trials that you're going through right now, uh, perhaps they're, you would consider them a little minor. Maybe they just popped up today or this week or this month. Maybe they're kind of new. Or maybe you're facing a trial that has been going on for a while, something really major uh, that's been happening for a season. And there may be times where you feel like you're alone. You feel like uh, it's never going to end. You don't know what to do. Maybe you're tempted to act or react because of that trial in a way that is not healthy, in a way that uh, would be against God's word or God's kingdom. And, and you're really struggling with that. And I, I hope this general truth will bring you encouragement that God knows how to rescue godly people out of their trials. And by godly people, we mean those who have placed their faith in Jesus, those who have been saved because of faith in Christ. But I also, I also want to go a step further. I don't want this just to be this general truth that you hear. I really want you to personalize it. When the Bible says that God knows how to deliver the godly out of trials, I believe it's encouraging us to believe that God knows exactly what's happening to you right now. And God knows the exact right way to bring you out of what's happening. In other words, God not only knows how to take care of you in the midst of this trial, and not only how to bring you out of it, but he knows the exact right path that he is planning to deliver you from that trial. And that one path that he has planned to bring you out of whatever you're facing right now, it is the best, it is the best, excuse me, the best way out of the trial. If you try to forge your own way out, try to find your own way out apart from God, uh, maybe you'll be successful, maybe you won't, but it won't be the best way out of the trial. When the Bible says God knows how to rescue you, the godly out of trials, it means he knows the exact right way to do it. The rescue that he has planned for you will bring him glory and will do you a great good. And so I think this truth should do a couple things for us. One is should fill us with hope that we are not enslaved to our circumstance or whatever we're facing right now. I don't know exactly how long the trial that you're in is going to keep going. I don't know how long it's going to be before you're going to see that rescue from God. But you can be filled with hope and understanding that rescue is coming. Deliverance is coming. Maybe it will come in a way that you expect. Maybe it will come in a way that you absolutely don't expect. But deliverance is coming. And, and the second thing that I hope this truth applied does for us is encourage us to stay close to God, to not turn from Him, uh, to, to not look away, to not fall away. To not try to bring ourselves out of whatever we're facing in our own power, our own wisdom, our own ideals, but to look to God, to stay close to Him in prayer, to stay close to Him in Christian community, in worship, and in His Word. All of these things are tools that God has given us so that we can come into His presence. And if we just cling to Him and stay close to Him and we cry out to Him, 
God will hear us and he will rescue us. And he will rescue us at just the right time in just the right way. And if you can believe that and hold on to that and be patient and wait on him, not only will he deliver you out of your trial in the best possible way, but you will find that you are a far more mature Christian because of it. You will find that you have spiritually grown in your waiting and in your patience. And you will find that that maturity is going to bear much fruit in your life that will benefit many people. So trust in God, church. Trust in Him. Whatever you're facing right now today, trust that God knows how to bring you out of it. He knows how to deliver you. He cares about you. And He will rescue you in the best possible way for His glory and for your good. I hope this has been helpful. hope this has been encouraging you today. Would love to hear from you. And so if you would, listen to the email address at the end of the podcast and the outro and send us an email uh, make a connection with us, uh, whether it's just to tell tell us that you're listening or to ask a question um, or even to give some feedback on today's episode. We would love to receive that from you. Until next time, church, much grace and peace to you and your family. Thank you for listening to the Building Up Podcast, a ministry of Agape Church in Pinson, Alabama. If you have a question about today's podcast or would like to suggest a topic for the future, please email us, buildingup at agapepinson.com. To subscribe to this podcast, simply search for Building Up from Agape Church in your favorite podcast app. so fierce, he straight into me. I said, son, I'm giving you victory. I can hear the sound.